So one more come back again to Healthy Morning Live on HSTV. Moving away from the sports segment, we're zooming straight into the in focus segment. Uh, so I've been saying that regardless of economic hardship and people, you know, facing all sort of things, we still have people who have taken it upon themselves to change life, put smiles on the faces of people. So today we're going to focus on one great man who has done so well here in Ghana, changing and touching lives of people. I'm talking about Dr. Michael Houston. He is a philanthropist and also the CEO of uh, Godfather, um, Inside Life Godfather. Yeah, he's the CEO for that and we're going to have a conversation with him. Let's walk through the journey and see how far God has brought him today. I'm celebrating also on the show. Chairman, you're welcome. Thank you. I hope everything is cool. Everything is cool. Nice one. As you see, that the Vibe Plus, Yeah, yeah. I don't get what I'm saying. Yeah, it would be man. Yeah. Right. Great. Now, you see, my job was mentioning that our economy now is not stable. Yeah. There are a lot of back and forth with politicians trying to, you know, um, stress us, making the economy very hard and financing and all that. Yeah. But looking at you, you're still touching lives, you're still changing the narratives and, you know, putting smiles on the faces of people. What inspired you to do all these things? Yeah, um, first of all, I came from the street mm. and um, I know how the hardship on the street is. Mm. So I can relate to people that are struggling, you know, so I feel like uh, if I have it, why not? Mm -hmm. I should touch people's lives and change their lives. Yeah. And I think one way or the other two, I release the stress on the government because mm -hmm. we are creating job opportunities for the youth yes. and then we are motivating them and mm -hmm. then keeping them from certain kind of activities, activities. that is illegal and stuff. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I think um, one way or the other, I'm helping the economy. Okay. Yeah. in my own way that's amazing yeah. any plans of moving into politics no no i, I'm, I don't really have time for that, that headache yeah. yeah you know politics is all about saying things you can't do and yeah. then get and, and i'm not that i don't have that kind of vibe so you've all. created your own empire yeah touching lives and all that yeah exactly. great now let's move back into childhood i know it wasn't easy coming up you know growing up to be the great man you are today how was it like growing up it, growing up, it was um, it was really crazy because uh, on the streets of Nima, mm. Tudu, I was I was born in Tudu. Tudu. That was where I was really, yes, Accra, okay. Tudu. And uh, if you know Tudu, you know it is the center for all, oh, yeah. um, all illegal that. stuff. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I was raised there, and then we came out good. Mm. You understand? And school. One thing my parents um, really liked was school. Yeah, my tradition. mom says. She, she has never been to school before, mm -hmm. but her kids will go to school. Go to school so she was working, she was a Makola woman. Yeah. Like, go to market and make sure I go to school. And I was very brilliant, so mm -hmm. it was actually easy. Easy for you. Yeah, so um, starting up, it was very rough. Mm -hmm. Even when I finished SHS, it was still I have to go back to the traffic. You know, from mm -hmm. infancy, I started selling in the traffic yeah, around yeah. seven years. Wow. Yes. You so, find yourself in Makola, so definitely yeah, you for sell something. You for sell something, yeah. you know, I for day ground yeah, so sure. um, the hustling was from infancy yeah. so it made my eye open yeah. and i've seen certain things in life i've mm -hmm. gone through certain things in life so uh, I, I know how it is to suffer and to hustle so. and um, my my time in school finishing school not even getting money to continue the tertiary mm -hmm. it wasn't easy yeah. it wasn't easy so uh in chiu that's a medium tibu boom Charlie and about to fire and about to be identified. Aha! So eh, one thing I always tell people is that eh, we don't channel all our effort into one thing. thing. Yeah. We be a and then because we do to be boom, we fire, we fire, we fire. We need to be a and we come from Bishara, we fire. Yeah. Until we come from Bishara, we fire. We be a and we now. You pick it up from there. So for me, I was just talented with this softwares and yeah. computers, website mm -hmm. creating. So. Instead of going to Legon or me say, why not? Uh, let me uh, increase my talent. So okay. I went to IPMC mm -hmm. and then I increased my skills in software engineering. Nice one. And but me year But uh, that knowledge helped me with the trading. Yeah. And during the COVID time, you know, that was when the trading really picked up. Mm. Because now nobody was working. Yeah. And banks were not really, really active. In Tibi, I was in the cryptocurrency. Correct, yeah. So, on the SOAD, and then um, God willing, we are here now. Great. You know, I'm looking at your fashion sense now, and I know you went into second hand, uh, you know, selling and all that. Yes. Talking about fashion and lifestyle, what did you do at that site as well? Uh, 
Italian the year per life. Okay. Yeah. Per life because we will date as you know, more color the year, everything the day. So it's me in the loan and share the So uh, I've been into the um, clothes selling, like literally into every kind everything. of business. Yeah. Any business at all that involves selling, mm -hmm. buying and selling, yeah. I'm into it. But um, the clothing sector was really uh, lucrative, lucrative, so yeah. I was into that part more. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we, that also helped me okay. coming up. So, yeah, and also changed my uh, fashion sense, sense so. and all that. So yeah. yeah. That's interesting. So from selling, moving into uh, Bitcoin, that's the crypto cryptocurrency, yes, yeah. trading, trading. Yes. But looking at the era you started doing this, it was COVID. Yeah. Everybody was in the room and all that. Did, yeah. Didn't you have any challenge, you know, trying to explore that side too? Y yes, um, there was a lot of challenge with trading. Is all about money. Money, okay. And um, um, with me, I've uh, able to. I have that kind of integrity, and mm -hmm. people trust me mm -hmm. to give me their money to trade with. Oh, okay. So that is where I excel. Mm -hmm. You know, mostly most traders they trade with their own money. Mm -hmm. But with me, I have a team, a broad team, almost 40 people investing into me to trade with their money. And then I, I always bring um, results. That's amazing. Yes. You so, know, in your presentation, they talk say if you trust the people, yes. then they trust you. And yes, at the end of the day, be trust. Mm. In Ghana, yeah, when you talk about Bitcoin, I'll be the first person's name to mention. You understand? Yeah. So uh, people trust me. And Bitcoin, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, um, there's a funny way with it. With one mistake, you lose your money. Mm -hmm. So people need somebody that knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. And it will push their money to you. Oh, maybe I have $10,000, $20,000. Can you help me trade it? Trading. And how much can we get? Mm -hmm. Then I'll give you the guidelines. And then you bring the money. We do it. Within a month, we all get money. Dope. You know, though, there's been a misconception about, you know, this uh, crypto thing where people, they talk to each other, this thing, they, they check like some fraudulent thing. Yes, have. yes, yes. Yeah, because of the currency, the Bitcoin is associated to a certain uh, aspect of illegal stuff online okay. because mm. Bitcoin is one currency that um, is not uh, polished. They Police. don't police it. Okay. So if I send you Bitcoin, nobody will know about it. Mm -hmm. It's not, it doesn't go through bank and certain um, uh, formalities. formalities yeah. So it, people are really co uh, convenient with that. Mm -hmm. But um, when it, talking about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, it's, a, it's, a, it's going to change the world mm -hmm. in the coming future. future okay. It's the currency we are going to use mm -hmm. almost everywhere. Wow. And um, it makes it easy to trade mm -hmm. with. That's why mostly I emphasize on it, the cryptocurrency and the USDT now. Mm -hmm. So uh, I don't see... It depends. It depends on your 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 the way you picture it. Mm -hmm. But with me, uh, we have uh, in everything we have illegal mm -hmm. way and then the legal way to do it. And and you choose which one you want. Mm -hmm. And I believe the illegal way makes more money than the illegal way. Oh, wow. Yes. I like I like the fact that you're being genuine about this whole thing. Yeah. Now I'm just going to put you on the spot. Let's talk about your biggest cash out. How much was that? Um, I'll say one million dollars. Yes, um, that, you know, I, you know, it actually came as a surprise. I have mm -hmm. a friend that I, I, I mentored when, okay. I was, when he was young. So he, he just gave me a call. And they were like, Godfather, I'm here, $1 million Bitcoin. And I'm say, hey, $1 million, they make a fire. And he was like, oh, if he's serious. And I thought he was joking. Yeah. So I had somebody that could um, give that kind of uh, amount. Money, yeah. So I called the person, I told him that um, his name is Dan. I was like, Dan, I need $1 million, so Bitcoin, cash, is CR. He was like, if I'm serious, we should meet at Echo Bank. He will get it for me. And I was like, really? So, yeah, so I, I was like a middleman in it. Mm, yeah. And then they transacted, and then I got my share. And most of the time, my 20% is the major share. Yeah. So you get your 20% yeah. out of it. Mm -hmm. And then with that, immediately we... We go back, we trade it back again. Okay. We convert it into other currencies so that mm -hmm. it becomes, it stabilizes. It stabilizes yeah. And then when somebody needs Bitcoin again, we convert it back into Bitcoin mm -hmm. and sell it. So within that week, you know, that uh, one million, you know, would be our Ghana and bit Bitcoin one million amount. Mm -hmm. So with the contact that I had and the way they trust me, yeah. for even somebody to come with money, money yeah. and give to you that got talk with mm -hmm. it's not easy. It's not easy. So what we did the first transaction, they could true, you know, or I know, I know, I know. Wow. And no, 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 and we kept coming and coming and coming. And then, that's so, kind of like, yeah, yeah, uh, so and, and you say, Yahoo point to shower, you shower, it's not giddy giddy beer like that. You're a small thing, no, 
then blow you blow. Up. Yeah. yeah. Great. Now let, let's talk about the risk factors involved in these things. I know you've you definitely have your down moment yeah. within this crypto thing you've been doing. How were you able to pull yourself up and you know still run in the game? Yeah, there was this one time that um, as I said, one mistake pay no aboka. And um, I lost um, people's money, like getting to four hundred thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah, the the, uh, the system just went down. Yeah. It was during this Ukraine war mm -hmm. thing, no? uh -huh. so we f we had that challenge then. I lost four hundred within hours. So let's say a day yeah. and a week within hours, then four hundred k was just gone, Ooh. just like that. And I had to find my way to get people back mm -hmm. their money. And then it took me a while. I had to go back and sell some properties and stuff, and then put the money back in and it was crazy mm -hmm. but I was able to pick up again and then we even we came back bigger mm -hmm. yes yeah, so th th that is one of the challenges of trade trading and yeah. everybody knows about it if you're into trading you know it you're aware of it yeah yeah you know the challenges that come in mm -hmm. so viewers we're having a conversation with Dr. Michael Houston he's a, f a philanthropist a CEO for Inside Life Godfather and you know we are running through the journey is a gradual process but before we zoom into the next phase talking about you know uh, the works he's been able to do touching lives and you know putting smiles on the faces let's go check a video out when we come back we move into that phase okay so what we'll, we'll Drop the videos in the course of the interview. But, uh, Mike, I want us to move into the other chapter of you touching lives, you know, saving people, uh, putting people to school. I know there's a, a woman who gave it to twins yeah. where you were able to, you know, finance for everything yeah. that's happening and all that. At what point did this humanitarian thing come in? Um, I always tell people that um, we, to, be, to, to have empathy it comes from God and yep. the way you were raised. Mm -hmm. It's not about how rich you are. You are okay. Yeah, we have um, people that are philanthropists that are not rich. Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, with me, I always connect with people. Mm -hmm. And it has been my prayer that I want to be a vessel to be miracles in people's, people's life. life. That is my prayer. And when I get opportunity to do that, I do it. Mm -hmm. I want um, to be the reason why somebody will praise God. Yeah. So that is my target. Mm -hmm. So when I see somebody struggling, and you know, the Inside Life brand is based on the social media, Facebook, Facebook. mostly. Mm -hmm. So we, our group on Facebook is a platform for you to um, tell us about what is wrong with you. Mm -hmm. And you know, we have 100,000 plus members, mm -hmm. and most of them are already waiting to help people. So uh, with, a, with that platform, when you come and you bring your story, so all these people are helped. Mm -hmm. It was through the platform. platform. They bring their problems there, and then we do the analysis. I have my administrators do check out the story to see if it is true. true yeah. And when it is true, and we can help you help. Sometimes I don't even need to put any effort. People come, come. and then they help, mm -hmm. even if I come true. But some of them, they need, like uh, with the, the lady that um, wanted a mattress mm -hmm. with a baby, baby was on the floor, and then... Um, she came to post about it in the, on Facebook, and it, it touched me. I was mm. like, this one, we can change her life. Exactly. So within 24 hours, we were able to get her place renovated, get her, like we changed her life, set up business for the same day, mm -hmm. everything. Great. And with the twins, to is the same thing. We saw that she came to Facebook, mm -hmm. and then she... So one, one thing I've realized is, I want to touch people, they're on head. Mm -hmm. the, or oh, inside uh, brand brand the inside, inside life. Inside life. Yeah. Maybe you want to mean can want to mean could you not be being can. But on Facebook, when you have five cities, two cities, crowd to meet up and then you can come online oh, yeah. and then sometimes people will criticize you. But then you say, Wow, we are a tone or when you drew. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so uh, we've created a platform over there and it's um, um it's regulated well. Mm -hmm. So people bring their problems there, we watch, see, and then we help. That's amazing. Interesting. And let, let's talk about the fulfilling moment. Anytime you get to touch people's life, where you see, say, you push money into the sector, you do start giving them, you know, sitting back, you know, how do you feel about it? Yes. Um, usually, one thing is, I forget. Mm -hmm. I can help somebody now forget. Some of you say, God for that, I'm like, really? Then I said, I can't remember. Recall. So I, I always believe that any group on a direct to me, and you may be a me, you know, yeah, on a normal, if you sit down, be like, you take your own money mm -hmm. and then do this. Mm -hmm. No, we, people will not do it. Do it yeah. And I myself, so I sit down and say, hey, it's me, it's me, it's me, 400,000 Ghana cities, and just for somebody. 
So that, that fulfills me. That makes me mm -hmm. uh, feel happy. I sit down mm -hmm. and then I smile about it. Like recently, we went to um, help the, um, um, sit, uh, the village of Amlakpo, Amlakpo. at a dam. Mm. They didn't have good drinking water. Yeah, and I think we have that picture right on the screen to where we see the public tank. Yes. Yeah. So um, they wanted um, clean water, mm -hmm. and water had become a problem for them. Yeah. And then someone reached out to us on the platform, the, platform. the Facebook platform. And then um, I had my administrators go there. Mm -hmm. They went to check out, and the story was true. Mm. There was no water. I went there myself to see the chiefs, and then they told me that what's up here, they have okay. to walk miles yeah. to get it. I was like, oh, okay, we can help. Yeah. And that project was really, really challenging mm -hmm. because it was the first time I've ever tried a project like that. Mm. So the budget we had that we took there uh, was completely low. Oh. Wow. And we had to, I had to do some magic to bring extra money. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, we were able to get them clean water. Mm -hmm. And then um, the community has water now. That's amazing. And they are very happy. And, you know, it's fulfilling to, for you to sit down and then a whole so community. All these things, yeah. yeah, 200 plus people are happy. Early morning, they mm -hmm. wake up, they get clean water, water. to drink, mm -hmm. to cook. And then it's all because of you. Yeah. It is really good. Really, really, really fulfilling. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's interesting. And uh, you're doing super, super amazing. Looking at the uh, things you're doing, reading about you and all that. But let, let's talk about the company. Yeah. How many years in the run? Uh, I registered it um, just last year. Last year. Oh. Yes, but we've been operating for almost four years now. Mm. Yes, we've been helping people. It was just recently, someone was like, well, these things you are doing, no, some NGOs who can do it. Yeah. So why don't you create an NGO, NGO. and then I'll put it on record. Mm -hmm. So I created it, and then I got the license from Social Welfare, Welfare yeah. to operate as an NGO. Mm -hmm. And that even encouraged me to touch more lives. Mm -hmm. So that was where we started touching um, the communities, communities yeah. and then um, the orphanages and all that. So um, for now, no, me and I'm baby, yeah, it's solo, so, my own money. Great. Nobody is helping. I don't solicit for funds. Right, yeah. I do everything on my own. Mm -hmm. And then um, I'm hoping that in the future, we can have other people that will come and support. Because, yeah, we have communities that are really suffering. Mm. And they're doing an inside life. Abrabo yeah. the inside life, Nankasa. Yeah, that's all yeah. So we want to touch people that, that, that they, are not, they are not heard. You don't want see or can't ask them to But we make it easy for people to come out mm. and then we help them. That's amazing. Yeah. I know definitely when people do these things, uh, we have. Uh, Government spying them, you know, say yeah. buying the Nini Bapu to your yeah. job. You've yeah. never had a call from any governmental body. Um, before I even created an NGO, you know, mm -hmm. there were uh, questions about yeah, people create NGOs to enrich themselves, enrich themselves to get money and mm -hmm. all that. So uh, it was new to me. I was like, really, how do you even get money from mm -hmm. it? Yeah. You are giving out. So, mm -hmm. and before they were telling me, even before they gave me the license, I had to go and do a police report. Mm -hmm. The police had to investigate. They came to my house to check. Mm -hmm. It was really interesting, but yeah. I don't really we, we got licensed. And uh, nobody has called about anything. As I said, I'm, I'm doing it solo, Surely, so yeah. uh, I don't, I'm not accountable to anybody or anything mm -hmm. like that. So until, until we get people coming in, mm -hmm. then I'll be like, probably we have to account to somebody. But for now, I'm doing it myself. Doing everything yeah. myself. Now, let's talk about the doctorate, Anna, you have on your name. Yeah. How did it all happen? Um, you, you see, you say uh, good name is better than riches. riches yeah. And um, these things we do, we are not doing it to get a name mm -hmm. or to for the hype or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But people are observant. People mm -hmm. see. When you touch people's life, that's what they meet me. Yeah, they're not me really if people say my ABBA movie. But they don't know why I'm on the way. Mm -hmm. And they keep on talking about you. And that's how it keeps going and going. Mm. So I was there, and then they called me, and they were like, we've seen your works, and then we want to honor Something. you. We want to give you a doctorate of humanity. Oh. I didn't even know what that mean. Mm. So I had to go and Google it, and I was like, oh, this makes sense. Mm. So they honored me, and then they, they gave me the, the, title. the title. So um, now, no. Me and my friend, my doctor. Doctor, that's interesting. Uh, All right, so we were having a conversation with Dr. He's, uh, Michael Heasting. Uh, he's touching lives right here in Ghana and doing a lot, a lot, a lot of things. And I think earlier we displayed some uh, pictures uh, of things he's been able to do. And he said one of the most challenging projects he ever did was, you know, trying to get clean water for the people in Adan. Definitely, yeah, it's going to be very difficult because, you know, sick of them are salt, then things, yes, water, so the, the water be very, very, very polluted salty, and yes. all that. And he's been 
unable to uh, do that. So quickly, we'll go, I will want to go straight to Facebook to read some messages. If my producer would be able to uh, send them, here. okay, it's right here. So we have Matilda Quason. It says, "Inside Life Godfather, loyalty over everything." Another one coming in from Dada B. He said, "I'm also watching live. I have Abdullah Barak, uh, Ben Chef. He's also watching. We have Jifa Sweetness. He's also he, she, he said L O E." Uh, sending out love yes, and again, yeah, uh, what, what? means loyalty over everything. Loyalty over everything, yes, okay. We believe in loyalty. Nice. If you're not loyal, mm -hmm. um, then nothing matters nothing anymore. Matters. That's so, good. loyalty over everything. Has anybody broke? Uh, how, 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 let me frame the question well. Have you been in a situation where you felt um, somebody was disloyal? Disloyal to you, yes, many, many times. You know, uh, when you start a brand like this, mm -hmm. people come with the intention. To, to get something from you, but they, they fake it, like yeah. they want to help you. Ask it, yes. pardon me, using that word. Mm, yeah. Yes, yeah. so I've seen a lot. Mm -hmm. But um, as I said, I've seen a lot. I've experienced and now I'm aware. Mm -hmm. So now my members, they are very loyal mm -hmm. and they help a lot. Okay. They help a lot. Now we have a women's movement, mm -hmm. the Inside Life inside Women's life Movement. Life. They empower women, mm -hmm. the widows, single mothers, what not or anything about women affairs mm -hmm. take care of it so um with that you know the loyalty is high very, because very high. they know what they are doing they don't even need me that much i just only finance the yes, stuff that enough. they do and they are touching lives Great. in the name of the brand yeah. Yes. So I'm still reading some messages. So Abdullah Barak said, I'm watching you live from a shaman. I have Jonicia Sewako to watching you live from Sunyani. Loyalty over everything. That's L-O-E. And I have Sanu Cuisine also saying, hash loyalty over everything. Abna Trick, watching you live from Egypt. My brother, Michael Houston. And I have Lemar Rose. Thanks, dear. They're also watching. So you can send in your comments with regards to the conversation we're having right here with Dr. Michael Houston. He's touching lives right here in Ghana and doing super, super amazing. So go straight to our Facebook page. We have HSTV Live GH. Share the links amongst your friends and tell them to come listen to an inspiring story from uh, our guest right here in the studio. So um, the messages keep coming. So quickly, let's go check out some project he's been able to do right here in Ghana and also putting smiles on the faces of people. Let's go check this video out. Every day by day I just they celebrate oh. Everything I do we just they penetrate oh. I just want to say oh, thank you to you oh. See I'm living large I get and just so for my ghetto Never forget where I come from, not from ghetto. No, 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 no. I just want to say, oh, thank you, Jehovah. Who reckon every word to go, Father, Father, eh? Father, Father, eh? I don't want to know ya, no, Father, Father, eh? Father, Father, eh? You want to put it wrong, you want to be like a I call you if I follow one day you must go. See, I come from East and the street, brother, you know. Hey, Jennifer, I turn to beast, you already know. Hey, man, oh, now, oh, yeah, no, 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 I 
can make go kwango when you say Every day by day I just they celebrate oh. Everything I do we just they penetrate oh. I just want to say oh, thank you to go See I'm living large I get them jealous so from my ghetto Never forget where I come from not from ghetto oh, no, 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 no I just want to say oh, thank you to go So these are some of the things we need to be doing uh, in order to make people happy right here in Ghana. If you think you can help, if you think you can uh, be of a blessing to someone, just do it. Let's make it happen. Because lately we have our economy not really stable financially. People are crying. But we still have people who are doing volunteerism, people who are touching and putting smiles on the face. And today we're celebrating one great one right here on Healthy Morning. I'm talking about Dr. Michael Houston, and he's doing super, super amazing. So looking at the video right there, you can tell you some of the works he's doing. So wh where was this? Um, this was Save Them Young um, uh, uh, Orphanage. Orphanage, okay. Yeah, so with them, um, I, I posted on my social media and I asked them, I asked everybody, my followers, mm -hmm. the group, that I want to touch the lives of um, orphanages. Mm -hmm. so every region, I want to touch one wow. orphanage over yeah. there. So I want to start with Accra. Mm -hmm. And then they do it, bring in all suggestions, but um, somebody told us about it, um, Save Them Save Young. Them young okay. So I went there, and uh, usually people donate to um, orphanages, they just buy random stuff, stuff and go. Yeah. So sometimes all those things are important too, mm -hmm. but maybe at that particular time, you know, they needed something yeah. that is different from what you are bringing. So I went there and I asked them, what do they need? Mm -hmm. They should just give me a list. And oh my God, the list was so long. long. <laughs> because when you're wow. yeah. So uh, we went to the market with my uh, administrators mm -hmm. and then the, some of the members from the brand, and then we bought all the stuff, that, as you see in the yeah. video. And then we took it to them. We put everything on the list. And also we were able to give them some money for the school fees for mm -hmm. the kids. Yeah. So we, got, we didn't even know about that. We got there before they told they us. Told and I was you. like, why not? We can pay some of the school fees for the kids. And we did that. And then the smiles, and it was really Just lovely. amazing. Yes. Just screaming and all that. I, I mm. want to go back to mm. uh, some messages coming in. It looks like the phones are really buzzing. So mm. I've not tried a uh, trick. Yeah, watching you live from Egypt to my brother, Michael Houston. And I have... Aubrey Pong, the Living Stone, Matilda Kwe Singh, I'm here. I have Asaiba Masawudu, Your Excellency, shout out since I live, Godfather members. I have Maulom, Godfather, Ba, my CEO, my doctor. Again, I have Dada B, saying CEO to the world. Rich Humble GH, my Godfather GH Houston, more success, more money. I deign the group inside for my favorite chairman. And I have Dada Solomon, watching live from Labadi, Ken Figa, Lema, Rose, thanks for the invite. Um, again, here, Kojo. Wizzy, from Godfather to Dr. Houston, the greatest, the greatness, it just started. The hardest thing is giving so much help with no returns. Hmm. I have Ken Figure, it says, I'm watching live from Ho. I've been trigger again. She's still happy about this. She said, I'm happy and proud to be part of the Inside Live Women Movement team. Mafanu, 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 let me read the tree. I'll say, Mafanu full chest. Inside yeah. Live to the Ho, we are saying. Saiba uh, Masawudu again, I balance the ball. The, the messages keep coming, yeah. so you just keep keep yeah, sending the, the messages. Yeah, yeah the these members. are some of the members. Yeah. 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 I feel people are more sorry, sorry, mm. man. They will come play. Nice one, nice one. That's that's, one. That's, 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 going out to the yeah, it's not like branded. The loyalty is very high. Very, very yes. high. Yeah. I, I like the fact that you're still touching on loyalty, because Charlie, like 
many people they mess up with disloyalty, they kill yes. relation and all that. Yes, uh, you see, w with me, you know, loyalty is very important because one of the key factors that got me to where I am now is loyalty. loyalty. Yeah. So I have that street credibility. Mm -hmm. People respect me and people trust me mm. because my word is my bond. Yeah. You understand? So I want to push that into the youth mm -hmm. for them to understand the loyalty. Yeah. Uh -huh. Even when you go and you're working with a company mm -hmm. or uh, whatever it is, when you add loyalty to it and you add your heart to it, you excel. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that's where God channels his blessings through you. Great, yes. amazing. So right about now, we're activating the phone lines. I'm told we have a lot of people who want to talk to uh, Dr. Michael right here in the studio. So we have our numbers down the screens. Calling if you have any question is 0302-776-3790. 2776379. Uh, Call now. Let's have a conversation right here in the studio. So, Doug, I want to come to you. I know you're doing all these things. It makes you fulfilled. You feel very happy. Definitely, you're going to have your own down moment sometimes uh, where you feel maybe the world is shutting or things are not going the way you want them to be. How are you able to pick up yourself when you have these down moments? Um, you, you see, when you are touching people's life, mm -hmm. there's a negative side to it. Mm -hmm people would discriminate you mm -hmm. and people would try to um, um, talk you down, down yeah. yes and um, the, the the saddest part is when they misinterpret what you are doing mm -hmm. like, well, you're yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. or how uh -huh, you are doing this for the fans and mm -hmm. um, there's this one time we even give people uh, money and they be like a hey, juju mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. or the more or the more or the more not the more in your scar and those kind of comments was really um, depressing to me and I kind of feel bad I was like I'm doing this for my heart and people are getting the wrong impression. I don't even know how to do it to get people to understand that this is something I'm doing for my heart or this is a direction from God. But I came to realize that even when you do bad, people still, still talk about it. When you do good, you still talk about it. So you have to just motivate yourself and do it. So far as you want to do it, do it. Don't care about what they say. Uh, and people try to twist it because they believe that the internet sells negativity faster. faster yeah. So that's what they do. So now you say, I say, okay, fine. Say, what's say my essay? I'm down. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Uh, because if you want to listen to social media, because mostly our brand is on social media. Yeah. So we are, we've been seeing these comments all the time. Every time. And at, at first, it used to let me down a lot. But now, um, because of she, mm. if you say it, I'm okay. Whatever you say, I'm cool. I'm touching lives. That is all that is important. That's it. So, yeah, but that is how I find it. Once I see people smiling and people are happy, was, people will call me and be like, F uh, Godfather, yeah, that was it. Why is it? It's men that was mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know why you're here. I'm going to share my audience with my children. So, yeah, those kind of moments are fulfilling to fulfilling me. To yeah. You. Now, let's, I, I just want us to go straight to mom. I know your mom has been on the hustle and all yes, that. Yes, yes. Looking at all these success stories and all that, how does she feel and how, how is she doing currently? You know, uh, my mom is very religious. Mm -hmm. And only my mom is very religious. So she, she's really, she really emphasizes on giving. Giving, yeah. Because she believes when you give, you get. Mm -hmm. And well, not necessarily physically or like instant. Mm. Some of the blessings come when you don't even know it. Sometimes we be between see what criminal because I say, I don't deserve this. How did I get it? Mm. It because it, it comes from something you've done before for somebody. Mm. So so she always advises me on that. And even from infancy, and I had that vibe already. You want to share? I want to share. Me sometimes I will share what I have. Come back for more, share so it again. So, I bet you may have to say, Oh, dear, Tanani Didi. Aha. Let's go straight to our phone line. Mm. So, we have a prince from Spintex. Hello, good morning. Hello? Yeah, good morning. Yeah, prince. Uh, how are you doing? Hello. 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 I can hear you. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, hello. Yeah, we're listening to you, Prince. Prince, I don't want you to listen to yourself on the television set. Just switch it off and communicate to us here directly. All right, so 
Uh, viewers, anytime you call us or you want to have a conversation, the volume on your TV set is supposed to go very low, so you can talk directly on the phone. But when you listen to yourself, it's going to, you know, drag the conversation. So the numbers are still active, 030-277-6379. Calling and, uh, you know, if you have any message, anything, encouragement for... Uh, Mr. Michael right here, he's he's right here in the studio. So let's just call in and have some great time on the show. So let me just go straight to Facebook again. I can see the messages still popping in. Um, this one is coming from Sharon J. Houston. We are proud of you, CEO. Adia Pena Albi Kasim. God bless you and the Inside Life group. You're doing well. Your Excellency, after the interview, tell them I'm single. Let the world know. <laughs> I might find my soulmates. This is coming from Pampi. Okay. Oh, okay, and again, I'm not tricky again. My bro, ha, tough skin now. Day, Sheila. <laughs> nice one. So, Maulom, Godfather, but that day we met to do the donation. He ended up eating two packs of jollof. I wish we could do some, some soon again. <laughs> Just the messages coming in. So, still sending your messages, and I'm going to read them right here uh, to you. And I have a uh, Mr. Dr. Michael Houston right here, where we're talking about inside life, how he's been able to touch, uh, touch lives and you know, put smiles on the face of people. So, I have Roseland on the line. Hello, Rose. I want to talk with Godfather. Okay, he's listening. Hello. Yeah, hello. We are listening to you. Uh, boss, I mean, shout out. Boom. Amen. I mean, shout out. You might not have on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The money is costing you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, you have to have one of them. There's an administrator who doesn't have money. What is this? 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 Thank you so much for calling. So we'll pick in some few more score, uh, some few more calls before we wrap it all up. Uh, Godfather, now what would be your advice to young people who want to do what you're doing? Because I know it's not easy, uh, looking at your story, growing up, uh, trying to survive, uh, change life, and finally we, we've seen the success of it all. What are you going to tell the younger generation? Yeah, um, I always use this opportunity to tell the youth to um, try to invest into farming. Farming? Yes, there's money there. Mm. When I was starting life, you know, I, I believed like I don't want to down any investments or any business yeah. like that but people believe that they, they can do certain investments mm -hmm. like buy and sell Selling. yeah and maybe open up a business they are all good mm -hmm. but farming farming there's money there there's money in farming and we have people that have lands a case of land mm -hmm. they just need people to come and cultivate on it mm -hmm. so Unya Obia, or even if you want to, you can just hit up my administrators or the moderators, and then we will put you through the right channels to go into farming. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but when the pay come out, it's big. One of the richest people in Ghana are farmers. Are farmers. So um, I didn't know about it until I tried it. Mm -hmm. And that is my advice to everybody. You can finish Legon, and then you can be waiting for um, your, your res uh, um, results, results or whatever, yeah. and you want to work. Yeah, you can work in the bank, you can get the manager and order, but still farming. Mm -hmm. You can still do farming. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. So that is my advice to them. They should try and channel their mind over, over there. Agriculture. There's money okay. there, agriculture. Uh, they used to say that um, Africans, we have so much resources that we can feed the whole exactly. world. But uh, we underestimate how much we have, mm -hmm. and then we rather go out there looking for greener pastures. Greener pastures yeah. Farming in Ghana, there's a lot of money in there. Mm -hmm. That is one advice I give everybody. Okay. Yeah. So let's go straight to the phone line. We have Dada Solomon calling from a chairman. Hello, Solo. Good morning. Yeah, so we have uh, Dr. Michael Hasting right here. Do you have any message for him? Yeah, I just want to ask. And a number. I do delivery. Mm-hmm. That's why. Okay. <laughs> okay. So are you done with your submission? 
<laughs> okay, just the one coming in right there. Yeah, so the numbers are there. Still 0302776379. Uh, calling and uh, let's have a great time right here. So, uh, Doc, let me ask you, what's up? What's up with the weekend? You know, Friday is right here, Saturday. What are the plans? Um, uh, yeah, recently, I traveled out and then um, I, when I went out there, I got sick a little bit. Mm. So I had to just come back to yeah. Ghana and then once a baby journey. And yeah, it's solid crap. So I'm now getting better, small, small. Mm. So I don't really have plans for weekends. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to hit the gym again. I, don't, I like physical stuff. Physical fitness, yeah, I'm not more into history. chilling, chilling in mm. the air. And you know, to when you have a certain level of fame, uh, going out is a little bit difficult. difficult so, for you. so actually, need unless you invite me, mm -hmm. and then I will come. Yeah. So I'm usually home, um, learning, and you know, this is my job that I'm doing the trading and stuff. Mm -hmm. You're always behind computer, computers, yeah. watching the trades, watching what is going on. Well, I'm a stick with Waboka. So yeah, so I'm weekends then we will see. Unless you invite me out. Yeah. Nice. Sir. All right. So let's pick our last caller for the day. Hello. Good morning. Your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Hello, my name is Madam. And where are you calling us from? Um, Hello. Okay, uh, I want to come. Okay, so what what do you have to tell uh, Dr. Michael this morning? Yeah, uh, Father. And let me catch the match. Uh, I don't know what I would. Okay, I think I'm really struggling to hear yeah. her submission, but yeah. uh, this will be a general advice to the viewers. Mm -hmm. Anytime you call us, make sure you lower the volume on your TV set and also ensure that you're talking uh, very out loud so that we can hear you mm -hmm. right here yeah. in the studio. So. We'll be wrapping it up. What will be your final words? Um, I just want to thank my members. The m main motivation was coming from them. Mm -hmm. um, before we created the Inside Life, um, I was a little bit reluctant, but um, they pushed me. Oh, why not create a brand? You have a support too. You have a piano. Mm -hmm. And as I said, loyalty yeah. is one of the key things. They are very loyal. Yeah. And now that we have the women's group, you know, I might just want say easy crowd because. Um, and you know, in this world, this is a, uh, behind every successful man, there's, a, there's woman. a woman. And the women's group, they empower the women in Ghana in ways you, can even, you can't even imagine. So, yes, um, I'm really, really happy about the way the brand is going. Mm -hmm. And just within two years, mm -hmm. we have done a lot. Yeah. And we, we, let's say 10 years to come there. It's going to be bigger. Yes, we, we, we are going to do a lot and we are going to make life a little bit easier for Ghanaians. Yes. God bless you so much. Now, we, we, while well, we knew myself, I mean, they bave it. We still see behind every successful man, there's a woman. So, yes. where's Mrs. Easting? Uh, I'm not married yet. But I'm going to get married soon. soon. So yes. there's oh, that one special person. Yes. Uh, we, yes. We thank God. We yes. thank God. Say, mm -hmm. oh, because you know, say, say, brand new, say, and not man. DMs, no more, baby. And then you cry. But what's the old room, Pempe? So we are rabble, my was a man, seven a day. When you are with her hair on her side, you are more dream brief, exactly. Nice one. So our energy here. Very soon, very very soon. Nice um, in a baby. Yeah. All right, so we're still having a conversation with uh, Dr. Michael Houston, and yo, he's touched a lot of lives. And as you can see right here on our screens, uh, on their way to do their donation, they've been able to do a lot of things right here in Ghana and still counting. And he fed it from his uh, himself, saying that 10 years to come is going to be way, way bigger. So joining me right here is my co host, Rama. Uh, we, we have uh, Rama right here joining us. In the studios, uh, going to bring in somebody, which is Irma. What do you have yeah. to say to doctor? Yeah. So all I have to say is that I, you're doing a good job. You're doing a good job because it's very hard mm -hmm. to get people to help these people that I need. And the fact that we know that someone is out there, or you are out there, putting in uh, measures to make sure that everything they need, you're providing it. I feel like you're really doing a good job. Great. Okay. So, viewers, uh, to remind you, uh, this is the Friday edition of uh, Healthy Morning Live on HSTV. We come your way exactly at 6 uh, through till 9.30. And we have our social media platforms active, HSTV Live, GH. We want you to go there, follow us, leave your comments with regards to everything we've been doing on the show today. Yeah. 
Okay, so before we wrap up the show, we have some birthday wishes over here. So we're going to get right into that. So our first, okay, but before that, before that, I say, I just want to ask you something, though. All this time that you have been embarking on this uh, helping missions and stuff, have you faced any difficulties? And what has been so difficult during this time? One time is the, the one we, we touched the community with the, the water, the that needed the water. Mm. It was a, a, a whole different ball game together. And with the, you see, as I said, I'm, I'm financing this alone. Mm. So when you have a budget and then at the end of the day you realize that the budget is small, it is it becomes very challenging. So with that one, we've learned a lot from it. So next time when I'm going to do something, I'll make sure that I give extra extra budget mm, to extra be able budget. to okay. so that we don't have to face these challenges here awesome okay so i think we can touch straight to the birthday wishes now the people celebrating the, uh, their birthday in the month of august yeah so touching on that let's take the first birthday wish and right here a happy happy birthday to mrs vicentia fayose uh, she's the principal of mcs international school at tesano so this is coming from our very own evangelist really really who is here at hstv so happy birthday to you Mrs. Vicentia Fayose, the principal of MCS International School at Tessano. May the good Lord continue to bless you and give you another 60 years in addition. More grace, more favor, and more money onto you. So this is coming from Evangelist Willy Willy uh, here at HSTV. Happy birthday once again, Mrs. Vicentia Fayose. So that's uh, okay. And then moving on to the next birthday wish. Okay, so a happy birthday to Gianna. So this is coming from JK. So James, you want to do that for him? Yeah, so Joanna <laughs> Music. So uh, she happens to be the daughter of the late uh, uh, Anoye Boa of the Apostolic Church of Ghana. That's Joanna Ryder. She's a musician in Ghana. So from myself, uh, wishing you a happy, happy birthday, Joanna Music. God bless you so much. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then moving on to the next one. Another happy birthday to Jenny. Jenny happy uh, birthday to Jenny. Jenny. This is so also coming from, from JK. Yeah, so yeah. Jenny, uh, you're a member of the 4J band. Uh, a very strong uh, singer when it comes to tenor, you know, is, is a male-dominated yeah. part. So, happy birthday going out to you, Jenny, from myself and members of 4J Band. We're wishing you a happy, happy birthday. Okay, now moving on to the next birthday wish right here. A happy, happy birthday to Mrs. Vicentia Fayose, who is the principal of MCS International School at Tesano. So, this is coming from Evangelist Willy Willy here at HSTV. We're all wishing you a happy, happy birthday. And he says, may the good Lord continue to bless bless you give you another 60 years in addition more grace more favor and more money happy birthday to you mrs vicentia coming from evangelist really really here at hs tv happy happy birthday to you and then also the next birthday which we have here goes to our very own abna asante here at hs tv who is the t the tree news anchor right here so happy birthday to you abna asante that's it right on the screens uh, so beautiful may you grow in grace and beauty more shillings we're hoping that you know we are going to celebrate the birthday in a nice way happy happy birthday to you abna santi here at hs tv and i'm moving away from this our next birthday wish so a happy happy birthday to apostle kwekumenya who is the general secretary of Ghana east council of churches happy birthday to you apostle kweku may god bless you may he bless your family members and your friends as well and may you keep flourishing in everything that you do and then moving on to the next one a happy birthday to prisla anson uh, may God bless you so much, and we thank God for adding another year on to you, more favor and more money into your life. So happy birthday once again, uh, Priscilla Anson. And then also another birthday wish, a happy birthday to Anchorite Abna Ejewa, Tosa 2016. This is coming from Apostle Thomas Kusi Apia. Happy birthday to you, Anchorite Abna. May God bless you, and we thank God for adding another year on to you. And then also another birthday wish we have right here, a happy, happy birthday to Anchorite Paula Abuchi, uh, Tosa 2004, coming from Apostle Thomas Kusi Apia. So happy birthday to you, Apostle Paula. May God bless you and your family and everyone around you as well. And then also our last birthday wish for today, a happy, happy birthday to Anchorite Nicole, Tosa 2005. May God bless you so much. This is coming from Apostle Thomas Kusi Apia, and may he bless your family members as well. Happy birthday to you once again, Anchorite Nicole. Equal. So these are the birthday wishes that we have.
for today. So finally, we're wrapping up the show. It's been a beautiful week from Monday through till now. Staying with us, we really appreciate your support and also your contribution to the show. And quick shout-outs going out to the production team, our producer, the man himself, Shadrach Abbey. Mm -hmm. You're doing super, super amazing. And from the camera personnel, uh, uh, people operating in the MC house, Sami's right there, Sofoya, Willy Willy, Serge, Sega. You guys are amazing. Bright, uh, D, you know, our programs right here at HSTV. And to you, our viewers, you know, without you, Healthy Morning wouldn't be here. But today has been a great one. We're stepping into the weekend. You should be safe wherever you are. If you want to touch life, you should. Because uh, Dr. Michael is here today has really inspired us to uh, do well and be great. And uh, what are the so your social media handles? Godfather GH. Godfather GH. Yeah, Use on all social media platform. Yeah. So, today's whose birthday? Elom. Okay, one of your Maulo. Okay, happy birthday going out to you, Maulo. It's your birthday. We're wishing you a happy, happy birthday. So, finally, wrapping up, uh, meet us same time again on Monday, exactly at 6, right here on HSTV. My name is James Riafi Kwesi, but just call me JK for short. I do this with Abigail Rama Edumens, and of course, we're joined by Dr. Michael Houston. So, thank you for watching. We meet again on Monday. Peace out.